Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Wednesday, June 27th. My name is Angela. My name is Chris. And my name is Chase. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat which I have here on my iPad. I got a full screen on my screen. Woo! I don't have over- a screen. Okay. <laughs> it's over there on a monitor where we can see ourselves. Yeah. You see yourself over I there, I do Chase? see myself you can over there. see that okay. chat room. It's over on I my can. monitor here, too. And you can see that one. And then you know about the best lower third on the it's internet, It's the best right? damn lower third on the internet. Hey, this is a child-friendly show. This is the best lower third on the internet. <laughs> Powered by the jblive.tv chat room, where the most intellectual beings in the universe have collected themselves to present themselves to you in our lower third. Cue music now. Yeah, I know, Ooh. right? All right. <laughs> now, this today okay. is going to be an exciting episode because we're going to go over some of the highlights from Google I.O. Oh, Huh? No. Now, no, we're not going Coder Radio style, where Coder Radio is actually going to break down what this means for developers. We're just going to talk about some of the interesting moments, yeah. and we're going to be drinking while we do it. So, uh, I'm paleo, but tequila's kind of paleo, so I have a bottle of tequila here. So, I just figured I'm going to have a few shots while we go through this. <laughs> and, uh, and Chase here, what do you have? This is uh, Marysville City Water. Okay. Actually, uh, Marysville City Water comes from Everett, so technically yeah. it's Everett City Everett Water. Everett City Water. Yeah. All right. Because I'm driving. Oh, I yeah. am so paleo, I've got chocolate wine that yeah. yes i drink with a straw so and it's not paleo because it's chocolate but google, yeah people may think i'm drinking though yeah everybody everybody that's watching i'm sure is familiar with google io this is their big developers conference where they pull in all the developers that can manage to get a ticket and they tell them what's coming up in the world of google yeah yeah i didn't know that well, there you go so <laughs> uh we've broken it down into some major announcements that happened today and one of them involves people jumping from a Zeppelin and landing on the roof of a building in Huge. downtown California something or other city. Downtown California? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like that? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think it was uh, San Francisco, but I'm not sure. So I kinda, San Francisco works. I lost track like midway there. I'm like, going for gold. I'm just going to say California. Downtown California. All right. Well, so this is the one article that I contributed to tonight, and that is the different uh, names of their... Uh, operating systems okay. is always something sweet, which is awesome. So we've got Cupcake, Donut, Eclair, Froyo, uh, Gingerbread, Honeycomb, and Ice Cream Sandwich. Mm. Now, I've only heard of Gingerbread and Ice Cream Sandwich. Is that, is that Neapolitan or is that Vanilla? I've no, well, I don't know. <laughs> you know, like the strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla, and you don't really like the Chocolate, so you go for the strawberry end. And okay. There you go. One. Yeah. No, Neapolitan. No. Oh, I know. Sandwiches. Oh, no. oh okay. I know. No, I've never done that. Oh, I know. I've never done you're, Neapolitan. You're, you're totally missing out. Okay. Well, so they do it alphabetically. And so they're naming sweets alphabetically. So H I, and the next one is J. And now they have Jelly Bean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. There you go, Anch. Thank you for that history lesson <laughs> on Google Android names. I found that to be extremely compelling. Now, I, I do as well. We will talk about what they announced today. So if you are an Android user, which statistically, if you're visiting our website on a mobile device, there is a slightly higher chance that you are an Android user than you are another device user. And you got some interesting stuff announced today. First of all, Jelly Bean was revealed at Google I.O. And it features the thing that I am the most interested in, something called Project Butter. Butter? Have you heard of Project Butter, Chase? Well, it's pronounced B-U-T-T-A. Butter? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I think that'd be B-U-D-D-A. That's just my hip right slang. Butter. But, uh, that's my hip slang. <laughs> okay. Well, I just burp burger. From the so. west side. <laughs> Project Butter is an effort by Google to make the Android interface a lot more responsive because uh, they're trying to meet a, a 60 frame per second deadline, and they're also going to be buffering some of the objects they need to render for the interface. And also, what they'll do is, as you touch the device... He's touching it. It will sense that you're touching That's there. That's an iPhone. Yeah, That's well, my, he's, t- he's <laughs> touching it. Let's pretend like this is an Android device. <laughs> this is Chase's phone here. He's got a very nice blue case. Very nice, Chase. OtterBox is great. Thank yeah. you. I'm an iOS user, too. Yeah. But as you touch the Android device now, if it has Project Butter in it, it will automatically in the background ramp up the CPU to be ready to leap into action for the user. So it'll feel more smooth. It'll feel yeah. more yeah. more Reactive. iOS-like. Yeah. <laughs> well, a little bit, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the one thing that's always kind of been, for me, uh, a stopgap gap measure for me. It's like, you know, I like Android, yeah. but it, it doesn't feel smooth like iOS does. I can, there is there's like there's a little hesitation. There's like some hesitation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And this is what well, they're trying to address now. That yeah. is really funny because one of my Facebook people... Made a post today. Wait, you know, we didn't even mention Chase is from Unfilter. Oh, yeah. You should do that while I find it. Yeah, so if you don't watch the Unfilter show, now you should because Chase is one of the hosts on Unfilter. Because this sarcasm just pours right into that show. Yeah, so uh, if you don't watch it, there you go. So now they have a name and a face they can put to it. No, 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 no. What? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, to him, (laughs) yes. 
Okay, so this person said, got issued an iPad at work today. Don't go to the screen. I won't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking it will either stay in my bag or give it to my wife. Uh, this is very much so unimpressive and a step down from what I'm used to with my Android tablet. Disappointing. Hardware is pretty nice. Software blows bad. Hmm. Well, no, yeah. you know, I mean, what if you got an iPad 1? That is getting kind of old. That no, is bad. No, it's yeah. brand new. He should just jailbreak it. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah. A uh, couple other things we'll just, I'll mention really quick that Jelly Bean's getting is, Chase, you're going to like this, mm. is uh, dictation offline. Thank you. So you don't have to have a data connection in order for it to translate what you're saying when you voice uh, talk. Uh, also, some camera app features that reminded me a lot of Windows Mobile. Oh. which I thought was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's some updates to notifications, which look really good. But uh, the reason why I'm blasting through all these is because the Jelly Bean stuff, while it's great, you know, the only reason any of that's going to matter is if we actually get our hands on it, right? I mean, the thing about Google... Wait, they announced it without, like, well, it's having it available? Shipping mid-July. But the problem is, is like, right now, Ice Cream Sandwich is the latest Android operating system. I know, system. it seems like they just started talking about it. Well, they kind of did, and only 7% of Android phones have it. So they have a really low penetration. Wow. So they've really got to work on that. Yeah, well, part, part also the problem with the Android operating system is that every update that they roll out always seems to cut off uh, a generation or two of phones and yeah. devices. And well, you have part so many flavors that, out there. See, it's, but see, the thing that's difficult about that is it's not Google's fault. That's, that's, that is their OEM partners who are just choosing not to release updates. And that's one of, and it's, it's a problem they got to work on. And, and that's why... What's an OEM? Oh, original equipment manufacturer. So somebody who like the, Samsung or like MSI okay. is the OEM of that netbook. Right. Yeah, and he's pointing to my iPad because it's being held up by a win. Oh, hi, <laughs> by an MSI. <laughs> oh, oh, not oh, yeah. hold on. <laughs> so this problem, Chase, that you touched on, how like the vendors aren't updating and mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, that's. Are you touching my drink? I was moving it so your dr it wouldn't. <laughs> wow. I was helping save your drink. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is this problem though is why they've decided to take on their own tablet because yeah. the vendors aren't answering the tablet call properly. Yeah. So check it out. Here we go. We're old little video. Google announced the Nexus Seven, the world's first seven-inch tablet with a quad-core processor. It's really nice for watching movies edge to edge on a 720p screen <laughs> with all the sensors you'd expect for interactive motion-controlled games. We thought about every detail about how the hardware was shaped to make it really comfortable. The curve of the backside, texture of the grip. This size is kind of perfect. Backside. It fits in your hand. The curve it doesn't tire your arm out. It's perfect for reading in, you know, on planes, in bed, in a chair, at the beach, at the pool. You're it applies walking around to not only with all your stuff pretty much in your pocket. With a powerful tablet like this, every touch matters. We wanted you to be able to almost feel every pixel as you touched it. We declared a war on lagginess. You'll notice when you pick up a Jelly Bean device just how smooth it is. With Nexus 7, we're bringing the latest and greatest Android technology and the best content in the world from Google Play into a single device and experience that you can take with you anywhere. The thing that excites me is that this device is actually created for the content. All right, it's so let's talk about this device. So this is a yet. tablet from Google. And should you have a guess as to what the price is? $199. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I might have read the show notes. Because it's got a nice, <laughs> curvy, smooth backside. But check this right. thing out. It's yeah. got a four core processor oh, in look it. Look at that. That looks like a Windows thing, you know, with you all mean, the squares you mean on an, the front. A Windows 8 thing. Yeah, you mean, yeah, Metro? Interesting that you picked up on that. It looks like Metro to you. Yeah, Metro. Oh, is that what that's called? Yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. know what that was called, but yeah. 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 yeah, I thought they had a few Metro ripoffs yeah. too in this. Uh, hey, you could you take the, the Nexus out and put iPad in there. You know what, Ange? It's a bigger copy of the of the Amazon Kindle Fire, though. Check this out. So I'll go. Oh, so this is this is really what they're going after with. I mean, the Kindle Fire. Hello, seven mm -hmm. inches, right? It's one hundred ninety nine dollars. <laughs> hello, seven hello. inches. Hello. <laughs> but look at the screen. Well, okay, it's not quite the same thing. Oh, but look yeah. at that Kindle yeah. Fire screen. You kind of see what's going on there, There's right? Books. But see, it's not about the. It's not about. <laughs> The problem here, it's not about the size, it's about how you use it. Right! <laughs> nice! Uh, Chase for the win! I'm going to pour myself a drink on that <laughs> one. Hey, yeah, cheers. Um, so, there so the next letter is K while you pour that. Um, I'm thinking they're going to call the next distro Krispy Kreme. <laughs> they should. Because it no, starts with a K. That's a name brand. They, they're not yeah, they the won't name. be able to use trademark. They could have used Jelly Bellies, but they didn't do that. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. okay, well what starts with K that is a treat? Uh, 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 oh my god! I just made almost made a horrible joke. <laughs> Did it begin with? <laughs> my okay. Anyways, so uh, I <laughs> at one hundred ninety nine dollars, I think the Nexus tablet could be something I kind of want to buy. <laughs> if it's smooth, okay. if it's not like the Fire, 
Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, for sure. Don't you already have a tablet that you can just upgrade to Jelly Bean? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm just waiting for the HP touchpad to be updated. Uh, then I'll be fine. <laughs> mm. hmm. I love that HP touchpad. Wait, it's HPs great. can run Android? Yeah, uh, Cyanogen Mod, which yeah, is great. So what? Bless Cyanogen you. Mod. There's this team <laughs> called Cyanogen. Spell it. C Y O N A G E N. And it's basically like a distro <laughs> yeah. of, of Android. I'm going to have to look that up. No, the chat room's already got it. The chat room's got it. Chat room's got it. C-Y-A-N. Okay. It's a Cylon <laughs> mod, you know, for robots on your phone. But 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 the, but the cool thing is um, I'm, I'm currently running Ice Cream Sandwich. Mm-hmm. On my HP touchpad, you're one of the seven percent, and it yeah. works, and it works great. Yeah, mm-hmm. it works I'm, great. I'm running ice cream sandwich too on my uh, on my. Uh, it's it's going to be called a Spark tablet, and they called it the Vivaldi, and that became the C71. But it's a little it's a little seven inch tablet running ice cream sandwich. But uh, I'm com- I find this device they're working on very compelling. It's Wi-Fi only. Um, so that's kind of interesting. You can buy it right now. You won't ship for a little while. And that doesn't bother me with it being Wi-Fi only, that sort of thing. I mean, with, no, no, totally. I don't want everybody pay setting up Wi-Fi hotspots yeah. and you yeah. know, whatever. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about, Andrew, are you ready? Yeah. So uh, put your headphones on, Ange, because oh. you're going to want to hear about this one. It's called the Nexus Q. Here we go. This is really stupid. Is this a technology I commercial? I have no idea what it is when I first look at it. It looks like it could have fallen from the sky. It doesn't look like an iPad at all. We're trying to create something that is what? unexpected. Powerful and mysterious. <laughs> it's this living alien object. There's something inside of it. It wants to get out. That's kind of creepy. Introducing <laughs> the Nexus Q. Come on, this is kind of fancy, right? <laughs> there that was a heart- point in time oh. where consumer electronics were a physical thing. A transistor radio or a cassette player. Looks like a, a bowling ball. Or a stereo <laughs> or a television. And then the software element of it became very important in terms of the experience. And now I think we're entering this era where consumer electronics is the hardware and the software Robot and the cloud. dance, yeah. Your <laughs> phone or tablet, but also all of the media that you have stored in the cloud. And the it's fact about that the it cloud. was going to be in your home meant that it needed to be not only functional, but also beautiful. It is cool looking, right? Yeah, I mean, they only stole the design from Boxy, but put curves on it. The flashing ring light's kind of neat. What if we had the Boxy in a bowling ball? That's a great idea. Google products are used by millions and millions of people every day Uh on the web and mobile side. How that translates into physical products, it raises a lot of interesting opportunities. In the past, what are those robots from Star Wars that like would track the the enemy? The 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 floating balls? The tracking tracking droids, yeah. From the device oh wait, but that's really cool. Did you see that? that? Yeah. You pair it with from, NFC over Bluetooth. We can take away, a and lot then of you could throw it down a lane and get a strike. Yeah, he's so about to throw it. Simple <laughs> stereo systems. They were it's a thermal detonator. Weird, yes, I agree. Houses, you would never touch them. I the like idea how they... here is that people can be inquisitive, play with it. I like the whole glowing thing. Interact- yeah. So okay. So all right. So this. Oh hi. Think Hello, we're of, back. Think of uh, Apple TV in the sense that you can send your music. Right. Well, they haven't said that at all. No, it was kind of weird. Yeah, I agree with you on that. It's really weird. It, well, it, it's cool. It's like they had artists do it. Here's the problem. <laughs> Here's the problem. Engineers don't know anything. <laughs> Two ninety nine. That's a what? huge. That's, Whoa. That's a huge yeah, problem. No. Two ninety nine is a, uh, boxy box is like ninety nine. Only if it can run MKV files. Boxy box is like right. one seventy nine. Apple TV is ninety nine. And mm-hmm. the thing is, this is completely dependent on the Google Play and Google Cloud services. You got to put all your music oh, in there. Oh, but the cute Android guys. You got to get all your videos from there. So wait, wait. What if I have a local server, Chris? What nope. if I have my content? I don't at think home? so. I don't think so. Now they did put a USB port What's in things. What's with the little light? It, well, it it's tells like you what R2, it's doing. It's like R two D two. Oh, that's stupid. But here's the thing, though: is it's got a USB port, so you might be able to modify it to to do something else, kind of interesting. Well, that's true. I mean, you. I mean, hell, you might even get CyanogenMod on that thing. Maybe. 
Hmm. Maybe. And it allows social playlists so friends can come over and they can send their own music from their How own device. How often does that really happen? Really. Like, Chase was like, I want Hey, I my got my awesome music list. Play. Let me play it for you. Well, hey, you know, we have outside speakers and, uh, what do you call it? This. Yeah, yeah. We well, can but totally play your music. You joke. You we joke, barbecued but, tonight. Yeah. You joke, but you With were on the boxy buns. box tonight browsing around, Mr. Chase. You That's were browsing true. around. Well, because uh, Chris didn't lock down his boxy box, so I just jumped on it. That's <laughs> true. That's true. That is true. I don't have my box. I'm a hacker. Yeah. So uh, two ninety nine for that Nexus Q. I think this too would probably much. Uh, yeah. I think way too much. I, think it's kind of I mean, it looks cool, but the the other thing about it is, and I know we didn't touch on it too much, is the form factor. I know it looks cool. It's a ball, and we're making fun of the whole bowling ball aspect. But if we compare it to say the boxy box and how that's an off shaped cube with a flattened it's side, it's cool. It's cool, but it doesn't really fit into a, a it doesn't an inter- stack a, a, an entertainment oh, center. Oh, it's fine. But you know what? I could see my kids trying to pick the ball up. Hey, let me roll it. Yeah. Well. Yeah, not the box. I don't know. I think with the box, see, the problem with the with the cue is that, like Chase is kind of saying, is that it doesn't like you can't just stack it with like your receiver. The magic G ball. <laughs> but they but they do this on purpose because they they want it out in a spot where if you have a friend come over and they go, "What's that? That looks like a bowling ball." No, Chris, that's my Google cue. Oh, either that or oh, I can go ahead and play my music now. <laughs> also, it's a chick magnet. Look, I think I that's can put crap. my phone on it. I it's think that's awesome. I think that's crap. I think they just do it. Yeah, I don't know why they do it, but. Two hundred ninety nine. I want the white one. <laughs> and, and by the way, is that outside metal or is that plastic? Plastic, yeah. It's plastic. So wait, what? What are you paying two ninety nine for? Well, it's because it has com- NFC. It's got some good components. I don't know. I just does it. I guess I don't does know. It? I don't know. Yeah, it's, save it's your money. Either get yourself a Mac Mini or a, or a boxy well, box the, and the, just the, do it. The right. tablet. The tablet is a hundred. The Roku. Roku's the, great. The tablet. The Nexus Seven is a hundred dollars cheaper than the Nexus Q. Yeah. So the tablet is one ninety nine, and the Nexus Q is two ninety nine US. Maybe they're offsetting the the cheap cost for the tablet with this thing. Maybe, or maybe what they are doing is offsetting the cost. Oh, next link. Offsetting the cost Zing. of this incredible introduction for Google goggles. Oh. This is what's going to be making the headlines. You guys check this out. Put your headphones on. Watch this. This is we're going to play the whole thing. It's incredible. We're it's seven minutes of awesomeness. Oh, an ad. Look at that. Aww. Talk about a tease. We should go back to our. We can still hear it. Although I'm, it's a good Jack in the Box I'm ad. Talking over I can it right go. Now. I right. can go for tacos. Well, I got. Right now. I got twenty. Hey, those are nice headphones. Hey, let Thank me set you. this up. I got twenty seconds. So. Uh, so Vic Gundutra is up there talking about Google Plus, and he's given his he's given his demo. Clear your throat there, Chris. Sergey, one of the founders of Google, breaks out on stage in the middle of this guy's presentation, interrupts him, and says, "Hey, Vic! Hey, Vic! Excuse me! Excuse me, Vic!" And then Vic's like, "Sergey, what's going on?" And then, this isn't scripted at all. And this is from CNET, by the way. CNET did the uh, clip job. Um, we're back. You've seen some really compelling demos here. They were slick. They were robust. Uh, this is going to be nothing like that. This can go wrong in about 500 different ways. So tell me now, who wants to see a demo of glass? I do. I do. I'm going to pour a drink to that. So every time he says Google Glass, really take a drink. I really want to show you. No. <laughs> uh, I lent to a friend, and, and he's going to be here momentarily. He's actually pretty close by. He's just about a mile overhead right now. Those <laughs> buddies. Hey, uh, we're just down here in Moscone. I got a few thousand people here. I was hoping to. Uh, this to really happened live. This is live. Here, this is real. And I thought maybe you guys could show us a fun time on this the way down. This is live earlier today. That was then. Yeah, get, this is now. Right. These guys are in a hangout. Listen to your speech. Uh, hey, what happened hangout. to then? Pretty cool. All right, this is a Sorry, spaceballs reference. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't they have to get clearance to do this over at Metro City? I think they did. All right, That's all I had to do in this short period of time. There. So if you guys can, uh, you know, be safe, but get it down here in a hurry for us. Uh, we'd love to watch that. With his GoPro yeah, camera. We'll have to stand by. We've got our wing suits, so uh, we've got a pretty good range. Hey, Chris, that's downtown it's California. People have, uh, <laughs> lost their <laughs> many times before, but I don't think that I hate you, Chase. No, that came from the chat room. That's on me. I, mean, I just repeated uh, the awesomeness. Nobody really knows the outcome of this jump. I we're agree with Tyler. Just outside. jump already. Dude, go. Are you ready? Well, yeah, this is so boring. For you. <laughs> oh, uh, get ready for this. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's do it. You guys fired up? I'm ready to go. About one minute, Sergey. Maybe you got to entertain the crowd a little. And now the Jeopardy music plays. Looks like a long way down. Yeah, you can turn it sideways. 
Somebody stated oh, yeah, the obvious there. Stuff, yeah. Founder of Google, yeah, that's all. That's who's jumping? Yeah. No, no, that's oh. the guy in the black shirt on the, in the, on the, on the ground. Okay. I love the ready. advertisement so on his back. We've been uh, experimenting with glass, just the ability to so, really share. And we've posted some pictures, but as we start to experiment, being able to share what you're seeing live. So, you, so as really they go, uh, pay attention down to all of the different Google Hangout views down here at the bottom. That you can't see because we're on the screen. Right, but when we go back, Ange, watch these as they jump, okay? Um, this Here we go. So they're live in a Zeppelin right now. A blimp. <laughs> the door's open. Yay! Zeppelin's a little right, bit bigger. Happy flight. You know what? Happy fall. We can go. Gonna do this. Let's do it. And that's downtown California. Downtown. Downtown California. Yeah, downtown. Look at that. Come right. on. Oh, San Francisco. With a rock. Here they go, Angie. Ready? All right. Yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. Super right happy? Yeah. yeah. Nice and close in there. I was I was watching this live. I was very nervous right now. I was like, Is this, are you really gonna jump? So they can hit the roof. No, they're not gonna jump. I'm gonna record. Take a few pictures to record this. There they go. Watch the different hangout views. Yeah. Look at that. Hang out while jumping out of the plane. First ever. Wow. Now it's keep going. Flying. It keeps going. Look at that. Look at that. You can see Moscone right below there. And they're in Moscone Center. And they're wearing those suits Fly, that are flying suits. Google Squirrel Google. suits. Squirrel suits. <laughs> the four sky Squirrels. And, and they're under canopy. Shoots are open. Look at the different views Ooh. of the hangouts. Isn't that awesome? Uh-oh. His canopy didn't open. No, <laughs> it did. Oh, God. He's falling. Smash. Yeah, what if it was like, oh, my God. And now we will cut the video. <laughs> and now a note from our founder. <laughs> What's nuts is as they okay, get going, how fast it goes. Vic, oh, I hey, know. look, this is a hangout on air. Hangout on air, you guys. Do you get it? Uh, do, do you get it? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, it's you get a little bit that, tricky yeah. landing on a building. Do you get it? Go back to the video, Chris. I don't know if you've ever tried this kind of thing before. No. Uh, but uh, um, you, can, uh, you can see all their perspectives now. They're going to have to line up uh, one after another. So they are streaming from Google goggles. That's where the camera image is coming from. It's that from the Google cool. goggles. And what kind of connection? From the Google glasses. Is it a 4G connection? They didn't say. We don't are they bulky? Know. It's got to be 4G. No, they're not bulky. They didn't say. But yeah, or they're on like a Wi-Fi access point or something. <laughs> yeah, who's got the Wi-Fi access Pointed point coming down? The I think they might. Look, so there's the roof. There's the roof. Look at that. And there's the mark. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and see, notice how they start doing this formation, this approach formation. All right. Well, they have to come in with the wind in. and stuff. And I gotta come in like First in order because yeah. there's five of them. That's yeah. what she said. Word. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's one landed. There they go. Here they come. Yeah. Now watch this. So you think they're done? Okay, they're on the ground. What could happen next, right? Oh no, there's more. It yeah. just is getting started. Oh. Really? They have another couple minutes. So of what's with the bikes? Hey, folks. Check this out. Thank this is great. Hey, so the roof is a little bit big there, so uh, it would take a while to run down the length of it. So we got actually a few bikers up there for this eventuality. Um, we got them wearing glass, too. And uh, there's our little package. Let's see, they got Google can, uh, goggles on. Glasses. Let's see if we can get it here in a hurry. All right, here we go. First person to view glass. Whoa. Yeah, bikers. Whoa. Yeah. Woohoo. Holy snap. I know, right? Whoa. Now check this out. I don't know if you saw the ti uh, tire marks before. They obviously practiced this before. <laughs> um, and, you know, there's only one good way down the side of a building. Jump. Have fun. It's pretty high up there if you haven't been up there before. The window washing don't cart. Don't this at home, kids. These are trained professionals. All right, now we got to get down there. Oh, wow. And then he busts well, through a window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, That's all. Going. Kicks in the window. Put in glass. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 No, 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 we're on the third. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 Let's don't call. go too far. Sorry about that. Uh, um, so this is pretty wild. I've never seen that perspective. Uh, <laughs> now watch this. <laughs> oh, more? Yeah, it gets crazier. No, and, there's uh, more. No. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, I'd be right. thankful you weren't on the we ground when they did this part. It's a little bit of a long way. I apologize. 
This is gonna create a whole new type of blogging. Vlogging. Watch this, watch this. Don't run anything. Watch the over. people. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yikes! All right. Please stay in your seats, folks. Don't get into the aisles. Please <laughs> he is there. jamming. How bad? And there's somebody on a with a camera behind him. Yeah, on the bike. Yeah. Woo. That's that's pretty badass. That's how you intro a product. Yeah. Right. That was awesome. Yeah. All that fluff for something nothing. Yeah, I think they really didn't say anything about Google yeah, Glass like, itself. Let's talk about glasses <laughs> and jump out of a plane. Yeah. What they said, you can take pictures. <laughs> of your baby, and you can and thrim on the internet. Of your, of your, of your knees, you can hey. take pictures of your knees. You can mm -hmm. take pictures. Hey, wasn't there this guy that was streaming his? Is he still doing streaming his life twenty four seven? No, he stopped. Okay. Yeah. What? Yeah, he stopped. There's a dude that was streaming twenty four seven. Yeah, his life. He would wear goggles essentially. He needs goggles, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see a lot of these, unfortunately. So uh, that's the highlights from the Google I/O keynote day one. Coder Radio is gonna next Monday is gonna break down like all the stuff that really impacts developers. Um, but, you know, I think overall, as far as impressions go, first-time impressions, uh, Sergey busting out on the stage and then doing that whole, uh, that whole act, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. All right, you guys. Is that enough of the Google I.O.? Uh, I think so. Wow. All right. Then why don't Input, we move on output. to the Jupiter Mail Sack. Come on, Chase. Mail Sack. Because there's a mail sack and that, you got us your emails. That's a nice sack. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ange, what is our first email in okay. the Jupiter Mail Sack? This is a part of the show that I can do on my sh own show that's not a real show. Okay. Scott writes, hi, hey, guys. Scott. Hey, Scott. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Hey, buddy. Hi, guys. I was wondering if you had been collecting any data on the effectiveness of the torrent feed and if it is being preferred over the web player or other download methods. Keep up the awesome! Let's go to Chris with the story, Chris. Well, Scott, thank you for asking that very interesting question, and I noticed you used the term preferred. Interesting. Of course, the torrents are preferred, Scott, because they save us on bandwidth. Uh, as far as the popularity, uh, we have several thousand for the Linux Action Show that grab a torrent, but about 40 people that torrent that seed, which is awesome. Thank you. And then it's about half that for TechSnap, but... It kind of depends on the tech snap. Hmm. Uh, and the other shows are sort of hit and miss. The torrents, though, have helped a lot with bandwidth costs. The thing, here's what I like about the torrents. What do, do you mean? like about the torrents, Chris? Then you get a local copy of the 720p HD X264 encoded multi-pass MP4 file. Holy crap. Who even knows what all that means? It's all good stuff. And if you watch the web player while you get a great experience, and it is HTML5, and that's awesome, if you download <laughs> that HD 720p X264 multi-pass MP4 file, that is truly the best experience of wait, the Jupiter wait. Broadcasting Show. Chris, how much does it cost? It costs you nothing, Chase. That's right. We're giving away for free. It's crazy, Chris. You're podcast. crazy. <laughs> I'm giving them away. <laughs> but wait, there's more. That's right, Chase. If you act now, we'll also throw in the audio feed for absolutely free. You're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a drink. No, you need to stop. Let me see that bottle. <laughs> give it to me. Give it to me. Hold on. I'll give it to you. Oop. Foul. Penalty. Come on. Illegal drink on the Come offense. Here. That's a two-drink <laughs> penalty. Replay the down, first down. Don't you have another mail sack okay, over there? Okay, look, he had one shot last night. <laughs> <laughs> Got one shot. Just, just so you know, see, it's opportunity like comes once in a lifetime. He's drinking a whole face. <laughs> See that? Hey, give it back over here. So, uh, okay, next. Give next. me more mail sack to okay. answer. I What's love, in the sack? I love reaching in the sack. Krister mm. writes. I want to subscribe, but I refuse to use PayPal. Refuse! Is there another way for you to add another way one can subscribe donation-wise? I'll add that. Um, it is a matter of principle for me since PayPal froze WikiLeaks assets. Now, Chase Nunes, uh, your network takes uh, podcast uh, donations uh, via the PayPal. Absolutely. Have you ever had anybody say, don't use PayPal? No. See, I get this from time to time, and so I, today... Today, you oh. looked into an alternative method. I did. I looked into Amazon Payments, and I'm very close, but I have to provide them with like all kinds of really blood type DNA. Yeah, I know. dude. Like seriously, like yeah. <laughs> I filled out a, a tax interview today and gave them. Wow, like, you didn't involve me in that. I know. So you probably did something wrong. I know. <laughs> this is the thing, but I'm trying. So people have asked me about Bitcoin. I don't know. Wait, I but you I have a take... flatter. Bitcoin is that still right? going? We have flatter. Don't you do flatter. We have flatter. What is your flatter? 
We just have links in the What if notes. someone sent you a well, check to a PO box? Well, we have an address, but but somebody over here hasn't given them our new expiration date on the debit card. I got to go. For it. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't think it's forwarding our mail anymore. Um, but it's in the newsletter. But I will I will email this person back and let them know that. You know, okay. an- another option. I think I'll have Amazon really, payments I don't soon. know anything about Flatter. So if, is it flatter forward slash Chris Lass or something? Um, I don't really know either. All I know is if oh, you go to like some episodes, we have a flatter button in the show notes. Okay. Of what? Like side bites in there, Lass okay. is in there. So yeah, go to Lass. But I, I, I will have an, am- I will ha- over at jupiterbroadcasting.com slash donate, I will have an Amazon payments button soonish. Okay, okay. cool. Neat. Did you have something to add there? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm all good. All right. Stefan writes, hey, hi, Stephen. Chris. Oh. Sorry. Right. I'm not used to a third person saying... <laughs> Hi, back to hey, the person that's not Chase. It's what happens, you know, yeah. you have that Hi, third, Chris you don't Chase. talk about it, and it's awkward. I wonder why the unfiltered shows are so big. Isn't it more or less the same as Coder Radio? Those shows aren't around, th- or those shows are around 300 megabytes, mm-hmm. but Unfilter is almost as big as last. What? Best regards, Stefan. P.S. And please keep up the great work. Let's would- investigate. Oh, so, Chris, how big is that file? Episode one of Unfilter, 469 megs. Episode two, 629 megs. Whoa, Episode three, 644 megs. Episode four, 612 megs. You want to show this five, to people? Not really. Okay. There we go. <laughs> no, I, mean, they, I was going to say, you mean, we could prove there it. There it is. So what it is, is Stefan is grabbing the 720p of Unfilter, Ooh. and he's grabbing the 432p of a Coda Radio. Ah, uh, okay, I can write him yeah. back. But it looks so good, he can't tell the difference. The, the 432p is super down, is super compressed, it's much smaller, but uh, Unfilter comes out in 720p, which is a little larger, though I actually will uh, be experimenting with that. Now that we've got our first batch of episodes out, I'll probably be... Messing with the encoding templates a little bit. Good idea. Okay. So, uh, he says, also, I would like to do a monthly contribution, but I don't have a credit card. Is that PayPal related, or don't you accept bank wire transfer through PayPal? PayPal does do bank wire transfer. <laughs> another thing you could Take do. Take it away, Chase. Another thing you can do, <laughs> you can go down to a uh, 7-Eleven or a store and buy a, a cash card if you don't oh. want if you don't want to do that method. Hmm. Uh, you know, like a Visa or MasterCard card, and then you can use that oh, number. Like to, to pay. a gift certificate for a credit card. Exactly. Gift certificate, credit card. Yeah. Huh. Brilliant. Huh. That's and a good And that's mail sack. Chase, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just thought that yeah, would help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's a good mail sack. That's the mail sack there. It's very so, nice. So, can I talk a little bit about the DJ draft? Yeah. You should right. have already. Well, I know. Bored. I should. I'm pretty excited about it. If you go over to bit.ly. <laughs> You familiar with the bit.ly? Mm-hmm. And you go I to, usually say just bit.ly. Yep, you go to bit.ly. And you go to DJ Draft. I am looking for people who might want to host a radio show. Oh, flat. Rikai is my hero. Flatter.com forward slash profile forward slash Chris Lass. Wow, look at him. Woo. Look that, at that. Look at that Rikai. I bow down to Rikai. Look at that Rikai, huh? Seriously. Done. He's our Rikaipedia. You need a Rikaipedia. Yeah. I, I do. Yeah, he's awesome. All right. So the J, the JB DJ draft, Jupiter Radio will be a project that's launching in the next few weeks, and um, mm-hmm. I'd like to get some ideas for people who have a radio show, or maybe it's a podcast you already do, something like that, like Chase oh. here. What? Oh, I just, I'm not in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just, looking at you. I'm removed. looking at that monitor over there that I'm not in the shot. I'll, I'll just look at the chat room while you guys. So okay. anyways, like I was saying. Uh, <laughs> yes, Chris. <laughs> Some people may already have a podcast they like doing really? and want to feature it on the JB Radio Network. So I, I I invite them to go over to the bit.ly slash DJ Draft, or maybe they just want to host some music <laughs> shows. Creative Commons, of course, we want we don't want to avoid copyright. Well, I was going to say, yeah, you got to be careful about that. Yeah, dudes, check you it out. You don't want the ass cap people after you. No, sir. No, sir. There you go. And I said ass cap. All right. Well, I think there's only one more matter to uh, attend to or tend to or is, something. Is that the Faux Show Awards? It's not, but that will be next. Okay, so there's two after. more matters. Two okay. More, two more matters. Two more. This guy here is wearing an awesome shirt. Thank you. Okay. Geek Gamer Weekly, right? Or Geek Gamer Network. Geek Gamer Network. He does podcasting. Geek Gamer Weekly is one of the shows. One of the shows he, over on the Geek Gamer he Network. He has his own thing going. So yeah. where where can they find you? They can go to geekgamer.tv. That's okay. www.geekgamer.tv. It's not .com. It's not .net. TV. <laughs> TV. Dot TV. It's and like JB Because there's TV. videos over there. It's videos. We <laughs> we just did a huge... Uh, we were at E3. 
So I'm a, I'm a big gamer, but I'm also a geek, so that's why it's Geek Gamer. Mm-hmm. Um, and we do two shows right now. We do a, a Geek Gamer weekly show, which is, which is on Sundays. We talk about general geeky and gaming topics. Mm-hmm. That show has over 204 episodes. Wait, Sundays at what time? Uh, 8 o'clock Pacific. Yeah, so it's after Linux Action Show. 8 p.m. Pacific. Oh, 8 p.m. Okay, I was like, um, no. <laughs> okay. Good. Over 200 episodes. We've been doing that show for over seven years. Long time. A lot of fun. That's ridiculous. I yeah. know. It's like crazy ridiculous. Some guy did a video for us. It was really cool. Anyway. Uh, Wait, but if you did it weekly, that should only be four years. Well, <laughs> there were weeks, <laughs> some weeks we didn't do the show. <laughs> uh, and then, I'm just saying, I can do drunk math. <laughs> and then this show you might like. It's, okay. a, it's called Minecraft Me. Oh, I know about this yes. because I'm supposed to be on it. <laughs> yes. Yes. We will get you on that show. Yes. Um, and so we do a Minecraft show every week, and we're soon to be launching a, uh, a Kickstarter show as well. That's oh, a cool. great Very idea. Very niche I love that. But uh, no, we, we were broadcasting live at E3, did a lot of fun stuff there, um, it was a great time. And uh, I discovered Chris, I got to tell the story real quick, I discovered, oh. I discovered <laughs> these guys. Here it goes again. I have to say this story, this is an awesome story. I wish so I could lean back, but I don't have a back to my one chair. Of, one of the <laughs> awesome... Uh, podcasts out there that if you're if you're into political news and opinions no agenda show uh check them out noagendashow.com john c dvorak and adam curry awesome guys in yep. the morning in the morning to all you people out there all the ships that see feet on the ground and uh feet in the air and boots, boots on the in a submarine anyway uh, so i was listening to i listened to the whole show and during the donation segment they said hey chris fisher jupiter broadcasting marysville washington i was i live in marysville washington so I contacted Chris, and the rest is history. There you go. And, of course, Chase is also on the Unfilter show. Unfilter, yes. which comes out every Saturday morning over at jupiterbroadcasting.com. Right. Live Thursday evenings, Live Thursday 7 p.m. Pacific. That's right. And it's tomorrow, just like TechSnap. And you know what? Look up. And you know what? TechSnap tomorrow. I think tomorrow, after you watch tomorrow's episode, I hope that you will rethink your relationship with Sugar. I'm not asking for anything more. I'm just asking you to rethink your relationship. Learn the truth about it. Gotta All right. Be informed. And then text snap tomorrow too. Text snap. Text snap tomorrow too. Okay, so now, that went longer than I thought. So the last thing to talk about is the Faux Show Awards. Email Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com, your summer project. Whatever it is, I don't care. Send me a picture and a brief story. Uh, whatever it is you're going to work on this summer, doesn't matter how okay. big or how small, or if it's a startup company or a website and or whatever. Let's face it. Everybody has a camera phone now, so there's yeah, no reason you can't send a picture. Seriously. Angela, seriously. Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this first time three host faux show. You guys are awesome. <laughs> and we will see you next week. Don't forget, you can catch recent episodes of The Faux Show on jupiterbroadcasting.com slash faux show. Also, get them on demand in the iTunes store. Search for faux show.